Forza Motorsport is almost a month old now. It's released about three and a bit weeks ago. And even to this day, it does seem like there's a lot of people out there where the game is still completely unplayable. It's so broken to the point where they just do not want to play at all. We're going to touch on all that and what we can expect because I think it's a bit of a tricky situation for Turn 10 and Forza at the moment. There are some good things to speak about though, which we'll, we'll start off with. There is a custom remote control Cadillac Xbox console. We can see here it is the Cadillac from the cover car of the Forza Motorsport game and it is customised where you can actually have your Xbox Series S console inside of it. Now the RC car is actually functional so you can drive it around with your Xbox inside and well use the Xbox. This unfortunately isn't something you can actually buy it is being given away and all you have to do to enter this is go onto Twitter and retweet the Xbox tweet that they um, that they posted. I thought I'd give this a bit of a push because it's Forza Motorsport related and it's pretty damn cool. I'm going to enter it myself, I think. That will be one hell of a way to display your console. Now, there is something else Forza Motorsport related and it is a custom Series X that's inspired again by the yellow Cadillac. There's more than just one of these that they are also giving away. They can be won through the on-pack partnerships with Doritos, Mountain Dew and Rockstar, the state of Forza Motorsport. The release of Forza Motorsport seemed to be quite good. A graph acquired here shows just how many players were playing over the first 10 days of release and I don't exactly, I'm surprised that they have data as far back as Forza Motorsport 3, but they apparently do. And we can just see that Forza Motorsport 3 to 7 are sort of within the same range, but Forza Motorsport, the new one, is just so much bigger than any other release has ever been. I'm gonna presume that day zero is when the early access started for premium members and day four slash three, where that big spike starts, that is presumably where Forza Motorsport hit Game Pass. Now this tells me that there is an extraordinary amount of Game Pass Forza Motorsport players. That's to be expected. It's a new next gen racing game on Game Pass. We've got to expect there to be a big amount of uh, Game Pass players. If we look over on Steam, I can't get information as far back as the release, but it's a very steady amount of players over on Steam. But we can see over the past few days, around since the first update came out, the average player base has been decreasing. Now, is this because players are already getting fed up with the major issues not getting fixed? It may seem like it is partly that. In fact, exactly when this graph started to go a little bit further down was when update 1.1 released. That is the latest update. We spoke about update 1 in the previous video, but we have had an update 1.1, as we can see on screen here. It's just a small hotfix, and the only release notes for this update 1.1 was that it will help mitigate an issue where players could encounter an infinite loading screen when saving a quick upgrade in the Builder's Cup intro series. That's the only thing that update 1.1 changed, and it's, it's around since then that I've seen a lot of players getting a bit fed up because if we look at the reply section the issue is still happening the only thing that that update fixed people are still having that same issue which obviously just makes people not want to play now it's not just that one issue it seems like the game has a ton of issues if we just if i just look on twitter at any point in the day all i can see are people just struggling with the game Ash Streams has issues with an endless amount of stuff, as you can see there, mainly with multiplayer. Now, multiplayer is one of the core things that just has to be good in a in a driving game, especially Forza Motorsport. Multiplayer had to be good off the start for the game to live, and it doesn't seem like it's doesn't seem like it's going very well. Hokey is having issues with the skill system, saying that he wins races, gaps the lobby, and doesn't have his skill rating increased. However, however, he gets rammed, makes back a ton of positions, and loses points. Just the general replies on any of the tweets just shows everybody having almost a different issue. Nick is having super long wait times in featured multiplayer. Street Rally Ash is having issues with his graphics card just struggling to perform in the game. That seems to be one of the major issues is the performance for the game on PC is lacking. Tom Matthews has an issue uh, 
just with the game crashing the game crashing has completely disrupted his work that he did on this day it just doesn't seem to be going well for many people now the thing is with this is all of these people that are on twitter are i would say more on the hardcore side of players they interact with the forza community they make their voice known now these people are an extreme minority we saw how many potential game class players there are tens of thousands, probably even more than that. The Game Pass casual players are not the type of people to go on Twitter and tweet about the game and be angry about it. I would say that the Game Pass casual players that don't even watch videos like this are more likely to play a game if they're having issues with it and it's crashing, think, ah, this game's a bit rubbish, I'll not play it. That is a big issue. That's why I think these major issues the game is having at the moment is 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 something that really needs to be fixed. The community is noticing that the Forza Motorsport accounts uh, are, are active, you know, they are actively tweeting the giveaways and stuff like that. They are there, but they're not really acknowledging the most active community members that are having these big issues. And he's not wrong, we don't seem to be hearing much from Forza Motorsport. There was one extremely good reply to this, and that was we should be making these concerns known to them via the Forza forums. And I will reiterate this again, this guy is absolutely correct. We can't really be whinging that much about Forza Motorsport being quiet when we're not actually looking in the right place to see if they're actually being quiet. If you look over on the forums, there is a relative amount of stuff that's being acknowledged as known issues that we've been told are being worked on. It's just very difficult for casual players or even some of you guys to know this because I guarantee that barely any of you that watch this actually go on the Forza forums. I barely go on the Forza forums. Who uses forums nowadays? It's just It just feels outdated. And that is unfortunately where we are supposed to be going to make our issues known and to see if they're being fixed. Something that's disheartened players even more is, I haven't confirmed this myself just yet, but Chris Callum in my previous motorsport video mentioned that they have stealthily added a credit and XP cap. I think the issue with this, I think the issue with them adding a credit and XP cap, this will probably be down to do all of the AFKing that people are doing, turning all the assists on, putting an elastic band on their controller and just letting the game play for you. I can imagine that's the reason they have added a net credit and XP cap, just to make sure that people can't get an insane amount of credits and XP by AFKing. They are never going to remove those assist features. Accessibility for like disabled people who struggle with, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, people who do genuinely need those insane assists they're not going to remove them because Xbox are all about accessibility. So I think the only way for them to stop people from abusing them is to make it not worth it. And that will be XP caps and stuff like that. So in a way, it's their own. It's some of our fault for AFKing that's causing this. The good news is that they are going to actively be pushing out updates. And we've got to hope that maybe update two will have an insane amount of fixes that just really polish out every main issue that people are having, which then just leaves the little issues which people can put up with. The issues that people are having at the moment are so bad that it makes it unplayable, like the game crashing. Everyone hates having to restart their game, especially more than once. I'm not knocking Forza in any way. I'm sure they are hard at work behind the scenes. It's just a shame that it seems like they've got a lot that needs polishing out to make this game perfect. There is no time span with this game. This game is here to stay. There's no Forza Motorsport 2. So I can guarantee you that at some point this game will be as smooth as anything. But I think to keep the big player base, to keep them Game Pass players, which is what they need. They don't just need us. They need that huge Game Pass player base. It's got to be soon, I, I, I think. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of issues you've been having. Is it causing you to not want to play the game or are you putting up with it? I'm curious.